Hi guys, today I have a new deck. Um, it's not exactly my style, but uh, Aerodaz uh, challenged me to build it, so I'd figure I would give it a shot. So I'm using that rolls the Scar Striped. He um, scavenges creatures, which means you can pay their mana cost to put 1 1 counters on whatever creature. And he also has an ability where you can sacrifice a creature to regenerate him. Uh, he's 3 mana. He's a, a pretty efficient beater. Um, my build is combo, not so much reanimator. And I, I'm against Sharoom. Now these were some pretty good uh, games. The first one, Sharoom, just decimated me. Uh, I had I had a lukewarm hand, and he punished me for it. So this is the second game. Uh, so I have a keepable hand. I don't have two sources of black mana to play him, but uh, but it's definitely a keep. And I'm on the play. So I go for Bayou. Okay, Magic doesn't like here. And I uh, Inquisition away his Mind Stone. Um, he didn't have much else in his hand, uh, just some heavy casting stuff. I believe he had Worm Coil Engine. Uh, so I top deck Soul Ring, put it on the battlefield. And I elected not to play the Worldly Tutor just yet. Um, I wanted to see what I drew. I put Dryad Arbor down and uh, and my General. I put Dryad Arbor down first because um, if he tries to kill my General, I can just regenerate it with the uh, the land. If he plays a Signet, which I'm pretty happy to see, Wasteland to keep him off mana for one kill engine. I just attack here. So I'm at this point I was really hoping for uh, another black source of mana. Uh, I saw shackles there which I wasn't too excited to see. But um, I worldly tutor here for one of my combo pieces, which is just a big creature that I can scavenge. Uh, so he wouldn't be able to steal my uh, my general with the shackles. That's what I do. I put 12 counters on my general, then I hit him with it. So he does nothing on his turn. And this is sort of cool. I top deck a card called Imp's Mischief, which costs two mana and changes the target of a single spell that targets something that you own. Oh, sorry, change the target of spell with a single target, and you lose, you lose life equal to the mana cost. So I knew for sure he was going to take my Dryad Armor. Uh, I don't think he accounted on the fact that I could have sacked it with my General, which I do once he targets it, pays the mana. And then I attack. He has Cyclonic Rift, and I change the target of Cyclonic Rift to my Soul Ring. And that is the first, or the second game, rather. Alright, guys, this is game two. And this one was pretty close to the wire. Uh, this guy that I'm playing, Chromaton, uh, Chromatone, Chromatone, he was, uh, he was very, very good. He knew what he was doing. Um, I think he made one misplay in this game, um, but at the same time I did, so uh, <laughs> turned out okay. So my hand, uh, I keep for this combo deck an extremely keepable hand. Um, I have Ramp here with my Elf, I have Thought Seize, uh, Death Rate Shaman. Um, he was on the play, he didn't drop Soul Ring or Mana Crypt, which is what I was most afraid of. Um, so I take the time to, uh, to Ramp a little bit with my Elf. I like getting uh, early turn elves too, because when you eventually put out your general, um, you can sack them to regenerate them. I always sort of have a creature on the board when I bring out my general, um, and usually these little dorks come out pretty fast. So my second turn, I top deck mana crypt, which is obviously it's a great card. In this deck, um, it doesn't shine as much because this deck isn't designed 
to put down fatties, although it is it's it's a free it's free two mana, you can't argue with that. So I see his hand, I see Jace, Guild of Lotus, and uh, Spine to Ishsa. Um, I of course choose Jace, uh, just to keep his draws to a minimum. I see that he has four lands in his hand, so he's going to be able to hit all his drops when they come. Uh, my deck is extremely fast, so uh, this seven drop and this five drop, um, I'm not too, too afraid of. I understand his general can recur them, but uh, I wasn't too, too afraid. So, put down another elf. My Imperial Seal for... I believe I just chose one of those creatures that cost one mana to put in my graveyard. I was going to bring out Viridian Corruptor, and then just give it an effect and attack. Oh, you know what? I went for Mind Twist. Because I had Mana Crypt. Um, and he got an Isle Spellbomb here, which I'm sort of happy to see that's what he tutored for, instead of Force to Will, for example. A Force of Will. Um, because when I put Viridian Corruptor down, I can just take up the spell bomb, and uh, and he won't get any profit from the graveyard. Uh, this deck, although it does use the graveyard, um, it, it's not a reanimator deck. So a mind twist in first hand. Yep. He draws a land. So I'm able to drop uh, Verdian Corruptor to kill a spell bomb. And drop seal. Oh, sorry. And drop my general. I wanted to keep the seal as a, as a secret just to see if you played anything into it. Um, but now I play it this turn as a, as a threat. So he's going to have to play around it. He's going to have to, uh, in his mind, sacrifice something to it um, to bait me out. I just attack with uh, Viridian Corruptor. I want to keep my mana up here for Putrefy um, instead of sacking something to make Viridian Corruptor bigger. So he drops Helm Possession. Um, I'm not too, too afraid of that because if he cracks it, I can always just destroy it with a seal. Or I can destroy it with Putrefy. Um, and I'm more than happy to see Scavenging Ooze here. I attack. So he has four poison counters on him with my Viridian Corruptor. Now this is the big turn. Um, this is where we both made, I think, one mistake. And, uh, well, you'll see. So he plays Mana Vault. Okay. And then he plays Sharoom. Now, with Sharoom, he targets Spine to Ishta. And I was thinking for a while um, if I should just exile it from the graveyard. Uh, probably would have, would have been a good play. And then on my turn, I could have putrefied and used Seal. However, I wouldn't have enough mana to kill him um, on his turn. So, any way you cut it, it's going to take me two turns to kill him. Um, so I, I gave a lot of thought to this. This this eventually took a long time, and I, I opted not to take out the Spine to Ishsa and just uh, let him let him destroy something with Spine to Ishsa. And I was going to take out his Helm and his Sharoom. So if he took out the Viridian Corruptor, uh, I could start hitting with my General. And uh, hope, hopefully he didn't get an answer. Hopefully he wouldn't get an answer. But for some reason... Okay, so I beautify his general. He tries to steal my elf. I sack my elf. His general ability activates, and he... This is his mistake, I think. Um, he took out Mana Crypt instead of Viridian Corruptor. Um, and the Viridian Corruptor was what I was going to use in my win condition, but I don't think he knew, uh, I guess, how big I could have gotten Viridian Corruptor. I think in his mind he thought he had one more turn left, um, but that wasn't the case. I think maybe he thought he would steal Viridian Corruptor next turn. So he goes for Mana Crypt. Um, 
I put down Dry Darber. So this is this is my mistake. I, I just misclicked and I put counters on to Death Ray Shaman instead of Radiant Corruptor. It didn't end up changing because if this guy had two more counters on him, um, he would have been at nine poison counters, and it would have just had the same turn count. Uh, this is my first time really playing Volraz, so I thought I could uh, put Dried Arbor onto Viridian Corruptor, but of course Viridian Corruptor, or sorry, Dried Arbor doesn't have a casting cost, um, so I, I couldn't play it, and that was, that was another mistake. So I attack him. Um, I didn't, I didn't uh, crack seal to kill the helm yet, and he forgets to untap it. Um, I could have always just cracked it on his turn, uh, and then had my guy back without summoning sickness online. So he draws a card, and uh, I'm guessing it wasn't an answer, so uh, he concedes. That was the game. It was pretty, pretty close, all things considered. Well, I hope you enjoyed.